So this is a keyboard by a company that does not make keyboards. This is their first one, but they did such a great job with it that it puts many keyboards to shame. Not only that, but the price is set to $99, which is in terms of custom keyboards, not that much. This one has silicone double gaskets between PCB and switch plate inside and on the bottom of the case. It has hot swappable switches, PBT keycaps, RGB of course, rotary knob here on the side, it has MDA profile keycaps, looped gator on Pro 2.0 switches, out of the box, looped stabilizers, I mean it has all the bells and whistles a modern custom keyboard should have as a stock option. This guys is a Montec M key darkness, so let's check it out. Looking for affordable Windows or Office keys? Look no further, I got you covered. Head over to scdkey.com, pick your Windows edition, use my discount code LE25 to get a 25% on any Windows or Office products. Once you complete your order, after a few seconds you will receive your code. In Windows, go to Settings, there should be an Activate Windows prompt at the bottom, click that, enter your code and wait for Windows to finish activation. To check the activation status, use the command prompt with a command SLMGR dot vbs slash xpr and you should receive a notification that the machine is permanently activated. Once again, use code le25 at scdkey.com. Here is the box. Upon opening, you are greeted with a card that is also an instruction manual, so you get familiar with the functions it has and how it all works. The keyboard comes with a plastic dust cover, which is a welcome addition. This is a full-size darkness version, which has a mix of black and dark red colors and it's also available as a blue and cyan mix which is called Freedom. Both options are available as a full size or 10 keyless versions. Alright, as you can see there are technically three levels of angle adjustment, regular, smaller and bigger feet which are of course rubberized. There is also a USB-C to A cable. As you can see the keyboard has these raceway channels so you can route the cable front, I mean straight, you can route it to one side or the other side. And this is also a concern. There is no way that you can route a custom cable through this hole. So you can take an X-Acto knife and cut these little corners here so it just fits perfectly there. The next item in the box is a key switch and keycap puller tool and of course some artisan keycaps so you can customize some keys with it. Keycaps that it comes with are MDA profile but what does that mean to the average Joe? Well MDA profile is technically the angle of the keycaps, I mean if you look at it from the side you can see that they are slightly lower than regular OEM keycaps and less angled, they have more comfortable grooves and angle is just perfect in my opinion. You might have some trouble adjusting to it since it takes some time to get used to that feeling of typing on them after coming from an OEM or even lower cherry style keycaps. This is something in the middle of those two and quite good to type on. But what matters the most here is actually under the hood. The PCB has kale hot swap sockets which has proven to be actually quite good. It can accept 3 and 5 pin switches and what is most important it uses south facing LED switches allowing users to switch to different shaped and styled cherry compatible keycaps without any issues or limitations like keycap scratching or touching the switches. While we are on the keycaps, these are PBT material, quite thick, actually around 1.4 millimeters, and the color is 5-side dye sublimation process which ensures long-lasting durability. The legends are positioned in the middle of the keycap and the letters are perfect, not some gaming style font up in your face. It has Gateron Pro 2.0 looped switches. You can pick between brown, red or yellow switches. The stabilizers are also lubed with perfect amount of lube and they do not rattle at all, not even the space bar which is notoriously known to produce the most rattling noise. They thought of everything. It has double silicone gaskets inside between the switch plate and the PCB, but also under the PCB in the bottom of the case also. All this is adding up to the 1.6 kilograms of weight. It's quite heavy keyboard. There is no chance that you can accidentally move it on the desk. But not only that, check these four flaps corners of a switch place. Those are also silicone gaskets to prevent even that sound after bottoming a key as the switch is transferring that sound onto the PCB but this further reduces it to a more pleasing level. It does not sound like a rubber dome keyboard, the sound is really that talky good feeling sound that you would expect from a much pricier keyboard. 
Of course, here, take a listen for yourself. I even used it for a month or more. It's already worked in. I banged on it and such. So take a listen. As you could hear, the sound is perfect, sounding like a much more expensive keyboard at only 99 bucks. It has RGB, of course, with 18 predefined modes, which you can cycle through using the function key and arrow keys, left or right to change RGB and up or down to change the brightness of the effect. I'm not going to talk to you about, I mean, for 10 minutes about RGB lights. Every device has it nowadays. It's nothing new here. But with the function key, you can also control various media functions. You have it in the first row here. You just need to study that instruction card that comes in the box, as there are no double legends on the keys printed down or aside, which is actually preferred since it looks already custom modded without that. But not every keyboard has a rotary knob. This is actually a really cool and useful tool. In the default state, with blue and white lights circling around it, it's used as a volume knob. You know, just minus volume, plus volume, press it once and it will display RGB color. In this mode, if you rotate it, it will cycle through RGB modes and press once more, it will go into zoom mode. It's useful if you are working on some projects or documents, but also for video editing as it moves the timeline left, left or right. So press once more and you are back in the default mode. This knob is metal with diamond shaped grooves and pretty easy and actually satisfactory to turn around. Next to it, we have a standard light indicators for caps lock, for numpad lock, gaming mode, since you can lock the win key with function and pressing the win key, and also a macro indicator light. It comes with a software which is totally optional. It makes things easier, if nothing else. You can record macros easier through it rather than directly on the keyboard with shortcuts. The RGB can be set in the software as well, but you can also reprogram every key you wish, except function key and rotary knob. This is such an essential feature that would be cool if it was there, I mean, in the software. I would like to program the knob to do some specific actions for video editing, for example, and having several profiles on top of that, it could be used for various things. I hope that Montek will implement this feature in a future software update. Apart from that con, the only other one I already mentioned regarding using the thicker custom cables. It's easily fixable with X-Acto knife, but other than that, this keyboard ticks all the check marks a modern mechanical keyboard should have, and on top of that, the price is more than reasonable. Forget those expensive Corsair or Razer fancy keyboards. This is a much better option for typing and generally gaming, and I highly recommend it to all users as it will elevate your typing experience. You have much less work to do modding it. It's literally the best out of the box modded keyboard, if you can say it like that. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like the content and it would help a lot if you subscribe, press that little sub button. Also like if you like the video and if you dislike the video, tap the dislike twice. I'll see you in the next one.